right, welcome back to MBE. Just a short video on the MBE Dart LS 10 degree head, 2285 intake valve, inch 625 exhaust. So uh, this can either be for naturally aspirated or power adders. And as most of you know, we can, we can do all the O-ringing, hooping, whatever you want to do as far as for the deck, dry deck, wet deck, whatever you like there. But this is a Dart LS 10 degree. 2285 valve, 485 in, uh, CFM on the intake port. On a, I always say this because on a 600 bench, because a lot of people have 600 flow benches, it's going to be over 500. The exhaust on this is uh, right about 300, um, so it'd be a little bit more on a, on a 1020 bench also. But uh, this is definitely a hot rod LS. This is a real LS race set here. So this is something if you want to update your LS sevens, um, this would be a huge upgrade. So this will work on anything from, you know, the smaller cubic inch stuff, high RPM, to the larger cubic inch, low RPM, because all lower, because all the high cubic inch is always lower RPM, because you can't spin all that stroke around, and uh, for the power adder. So we do this, we have 5 degree soft chamber, 7 degree soft chamber in the cylinder head, and then uh, we got John at CID's intake manifold on it, and you can see we do a lot of porting on this. We've been definitely doing some changing on all of this too, but finding gains on the dynos, so that's always important. And then, uh, and you can see it's got you know decent sized ports in it and stuff like that. All right, so here we have it, all final machined and everything. This would be for NA if this was naturally aspirated, no power adder. The power adder ones, like I said earlier, either have a five or seven degree chamber, mean this mean this angle will start from here to here to either a five or seven degree and get rid of this these quench pads or the flat area where the flat area meets the piston. And like we spoke about before, like that, the reason why we go down at an angle like this, it's kind of an industry standard. It's not a it's nothing there's no uh, no secrets to any of that. Um, it's because as the, as the flat of the piston hits here, there's not enough area in there, so it doesn't burn the fuel, and it tends to want to detonate, especially with the power adder. So if you leave that open, it'll burn the fuel, and it will not detonate. So, but as you can see here, the MBE copper beryllium seats, everyone thinks, there's, uh, a lot of people think our heads are more money, but in this head alone, compared to using the brass seat that most people put in, that's $700 in seat material, it's almost 900 difference just in seat material on a set of heads and a set of big blocks. But uh, as you can see here, you know, the machine work is perfect. We guarantee the flow numbers. It's got a decent sized port in it. And you know, this LS is basically, it's a symmetrical uh, little chief head is basically what it is uh, with a nice large water core where we can get enough short turn out of it and things like that. So. It's, you know, much, I mean, this thing NA is going to make around 1,100 horsepower. That's a, going to be a pretty typical number at like 400 inches. It'll, it'll easily do that. And then that, um, you know, power adder, you know, if you want, you can put 800, 800 horsepower nitrous on this if you like. So, um, so you'd be, you'd be around 18, 1900, so 1950, so. One thing about this, because it's a race head, you do have the extra fasteners everywhere. The extra fasteners here, so you don't have to worry about the head moving um, because it's a quality casting. The decks are thick. The decks are very thick on it. And that's it. That's the Dart LS 10 degree. And thank you for joining us. Have a great day.